Does this chest plate make you want to subscribe? Welcome to Moda Style. Oh, hey, how you doing? Surprise. So my summer job is as a seasonal laborer for the Parks and Recreation Department in my town. We get a lot of sun and even with all my sunscreen I still end up with terrible tan lines. My arms are tan and a loop around my neck where my tank top sits, but everywhere else on my upper body is disappointingly white. My legs are tan but I wear boots and socks every day, so a little higher than my ankles there's a terrible white line. It looks like I'm wearing white socks. I'm embarrassed to be seen in sandals and t-shirts after work. I want to go out in the town without any fear. Guys, first of all, there's nothing wrong with being pale, okay? This is tan for me. This is pale for me. I am one shade of human, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not gonna go, and I'm not gonna start spray tanning myself. Oh, uh, you shouldn't. You would, If you had orange skin and an orange weird. face and orange hair, <laughs> it'd be a carrot. Start going heavier on the sunscreen, and follow us for a clothing adventure of a lifetime. You can't dress like a normie anymore. You can't just run around in t-shirts and tank tops and sandals. We're gonna have to get a little creative with this. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. For our first piece, we have kind of a very lightweight, lacy dress blouse from Malau. 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 Meow, meow. What, Molly? What, Shamika? It's summertime. Why do I have a blouse on? Cause girlfriend, you got freaking weird tan lines and we're just trying to help you out. And this is light enough that it won't make you super sweaty. This is great because it's got lace, it's got sheer, you can feel the warm summer wind just going through that blouse. But that's not all folks. No, it's not. We've got a beautiful vintage dress to go over this. I love this because it reminds me of that part in Cinderella when all the birds are like, Cinderella, Cinderella, and they take that blue dress and then they whip it all up. Yeah. And she looks like, this is like a fairy tale. And it's really long, down to your toesies, so that don't even worry about what that line on your legs looks like. You can also be wearing like really long flowy skirts, a la Shamika. Right? Look at that. You can roll it up a little bit, give yourself a little dimension. Let me get that. And now let's slap a belt on there because you know your parks and recreation uniform doesn't hug your body and give you the kinds of lines you need to go out on the town. If you like it, then you should have put a belt on it. <laughs> Basically what we've created here is an optical illusion. Somebody can be like, oh, are those tan lines? Is that, I don't know, because we've managed to cover up all the lines that you get when you're out there working. Just, that's the sound of the parks and rec team working, working on, on the, the uh, concrete and stuff, making parks. parks. They make the parks. I like this because you know what guys? Writing is romantic. Texting, sweet Facebook, sweet -a -a robots, all that's fine. But this says, I like the classics. Thanks for watching Emoto Style. Thanks. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Patricia to see what, you know, we look like in bathing suits. What? And sex cells. Watch we're, out for those tan lines, you guys. Yeah, we're sexy ladies. <laughs>